reaction um, at the same time? There is no room to understand what's happening to our country. Yeah. We, we don't have the room to talk to each other. Uh, I, I, in this conference, I'm, whenever I see Egyptians who seem sympathetic, I can see it from their eyes, but they can't, they can't even approach me. Thank you, and hopefully we will be able to save him. Thank you. Thank you, Sana. All right. We, we are, I don't know, we're out of time. To just, yeah. Free Allah! Free them all! Free Allah! Free them all! Free Allah! Free them all! The only reason the government accredited certain people to be here um, at COP27 and not others is that uh, you know these people can actually be relied upon to do exactly that, to disrupt uh, events, to shout at people who express uh, dissenting views, uh, to try and really deprive us uh, of having the stage, uh, which is exactly the daily reality that we live with um, outside of the bubble that is Sharm el-Sheikh. Um, no, I mean, frankly, being interrupted at a press conference is one very, very mild type of abuse uh, compared to what we have to go through every day. There is the risk of imprisonment, there is um, arrest on political charges, uh, there's, in my case, travel ban, and a, a freeze on my personal assets and bank account. Um, and just uh, being responsible for, you know, the fate of my staff and colleagues as well. So I think we can live with some shouting at a press conference.